yeah, I guess we can start with YouTube. That's obvious. That's the obvious place to start, I think, because um, that's where we built from. Yeah. Um, doing covers is a great way to gain support and a following, but we were really like we were select with our covers. We didn't just pick, say, what was the most popular or what was in the charts at that time. Um, we chose songs that that meant something to us, like from our, songs from our childhood. Um, and then like, we did take, we took turns as well, didn't we, yeah. picking songs? But yeah, that was that. Inevitably, we'd end up making our own music at some stage. I think. Yeah. Um, I think we've always wanted to make music together, and we've always, we always have really, haven't we? Yeah. Um, uh, we've always been a duo, so Lungley um, as a name seemed like Fitting. the obvious choice, yeah. really. I think. Um, yeah, because that's our name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, in regards to our original music. Um, I guess we really wanted to find our natural sound yeah. and I think we have, I really do think we have. Yeah, definitely. Um, to make music that we wanted to make, um, not what is maybe perhaps expected of us, um, mm. you know, like whether it's seen as mainstream or underground, um, it doesn't it really doesn't matter I don't think. No. I agree. I mean, I think it's important to be, be honest and be yourself. I mean, if not, how can we uh, really love something that isn't isn't truly ours? Mm. Um, I think it's about that integrity and keeping that, maintaining that. Yeah. Um, I mean, when finding our original sound, I think it was it was about balance, um, taking things from Natalie, what makes her her, and taking things from me, and you know. We had this sort of collision of soundtracks of, of our youth right up until, I guess, our maturity. Right now, yeah. um, combining these, I guess, like rounds of past eras and just ultimately just building new beginnings. Yeah, so pretty early on into the songwriting process, um, we knew that we weren't going to sort of fit this predictable mould. I mean, um, I listen to Deftones a lot. Um, Fiona Apple, Massive Attack, um, and then Matt really loves Portishead. Yeah, you like Elliot Smith, mm. um, and Burial, yeah. people, bands like that. Personally, I think it's a glorious combination. And then with our sound, um, it's the lyrics, the music, like the vocal harmonising that really makes it us. And you know, I'm like, that's just what I. I, I think it, well I hope it makes us mm. sound pretty unique yeah. and I think all we can be really is emotionally honest that is the good thing though isn't it like working with your family you feel fully understood um, yeah, so. you're really good at understanding my ideas and what I'm trying to put across yeah. and say yeah I think it's I think it's important to kind of um, understand what it is and how you want to convey a sound or something yeah. um, and it's my job to kind of create a soundscape to that and uh, kind of match what you had in mind. Mm. Um, I mean, I really want to I mean, precisely construct whatever either of us um, envisage. Yeah. All right, so the songwriting process, um, do you want to...? Yeah, I mean, the process of songwriting, it's always been, it's always been organic. I mean, um, Natalie, I mean, you could see it as Natalie brings the words and I bring the music. But we also kind of step into each other's uh, kind of areas. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, I write lyrics too. Natalie writes melodies as well. So, um, like I said, it's just it's just balanced. It's just comfortable and it's natural and it's yeah. free flowing. Fun yeah. as well. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, and Matt's poetry is beautiful, so that's always welcome. Um, Thanks. Well, uh, one thing we do is once the music is done. Mm. We both come up with like different ways to sing, um, yeah. so, sing the lyrics to the song, um, don't we? So, yeah. and then we compare each other's like sections, and um, basically just choose take the, the best, best bit, yeah, yeah, take the best bits, and then 
work on ways to combine them. Yeah. Yeah. I love the way Nat writes um, and looks at things. Um, she has this different kind of perspective and way of approaching vocal melodies. Um, and when it comes to lyrical content, I feel feel like we've got kind of mm. got our own stories, but we yeah. also also have stories that we've shared. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, we're not in the same place we used to be a few years back. Um, we've got so much content coming, and I hope our listeners, you know, like it because the support from them is just amazing. Yeah. I agree. I love that sense of oneness, and, um, and yet there's that kind of this strength in numbers. I mean, if you really look at it, everything we've kind of done has been on our own, just kind of like us and the yeah, fans. Yeah, just us. So yeah. um, we're proud of it. Yeah, we're really proud. Yeah, and um, yeah, we're just making music we want to make and being truthful and honest. I guess. Yeah. 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 So the album's coming later this year. Um, we're aiming for perhaps um, September, September yeah. October maybe um, we're going to put up loads of singles and stuff before then so yeah exciting Lots of content. stuff yeah.